know how to make this gorgeous dish? Well, stay tuned and watch and see this quick and simple way of making coconut shrimp with Asian inspired flavors. Hey, my sweets, and welcome back to another installment of Sweet Sue's Kitchen. I am so glad to be in the kitchen with you guys today. You guys forgive me for my fan. It has an old ceiling fan in this kitchen and it's pretty hot in here, so I had to turn it off. Back to business. Today we are making coconut shrimp, you guys. And no, I do not make it the ordinary way. I have to put a little extra flair to it. So this is the ingredients that we will be using. We are gonna be using some plain panko crust breadcrumbs, some coconut flour, uh, ignore the name. We got some um, granulated sugar. We got some salt, pepper, onion powder. We're gonna also use a little blood orange glaze. That is for the, um, the fruit factor of it, where I'm going with my Caribbean vibe as well as a little Asian persuasion, okay? So we're gonna use some paprika. We also gonna be using some ginger, ground ginger. My lime that's hiding in the back here. We're gonna be using some lime juice. We're also gonna be using some mirin. That is a, a sweet cooking seasoning. I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil over my shrimps. And for decoration and color, a little pop of color is my parsley flakes. You guys, here's also my uh, 2125 size raw shrimp that I've already deveined, cleaned, and everything so it's prepped. And what I'm going to do is just uh, show you how um, you can also marinate it before we go into actually cooking, making the um, coconut shrimp. So we need one large egg. And this is also all-purpose flour that we also go be using, as well as a little bit of water so we can make our egg wash. Okay, so if you're ready to cook, let's get to it. Hope that you all are having a very blessed day, and let's get to it. All right, so let's get started. So, like I said, I have washed and deveined my shrimp. And the vein simply means taking out that line in that shrimp. And I have to do a video um, to show you exactly what that looks like. So let's get to uh, what would you do to marinate your meat? So what I would do, <clears throat> well not your meat, your shrimp. So what I'm going to add in a little bit of the marin sauce like about a fourth teaspoon of the um, marin sauce. Then I would put a few drops of this orange glaze into it to enhance the flavor. Now I add in my olive oil, this little drizzle. So I'm going to mix it all in, and then a few squigs of my lemon or lime juice. You can use lemon too, but I'm using lime today because this is what I have on hand. Normally I have the lemon and the lime, but this is what I have on hand. So let's just mix it in gently. You can add a pinch of salt in it as well, which I'm getting ready to do. That's a pinch. I was shaking real lightly. So that's a pinch. I hope you guys can see me myself today, so forgive me for this. But yeah, so that's simply what I did to if you had time, you just marinate it just like that. And you can wrap it with a plastic and put it in the fridge and let the flavor just enhance and 
you know, just blend all together, right? So what I'm going to do today, for the sake of time, I am going to show you how I do it right on hand. And I'm going to season it. And it's going to come out the bomb, I'm telling you, because I know how to put the flavor together. Trust me. Okay, let's get to it. Now, you do know I don't measure, but for the sake of the video, I'm pulling out my measuring spoon. Okay, so we're going to go in with a teaspoon of the um, paprika. That's going to bring some color. Now, I might add in a little more as we go along. about a tablespoon of this onion powder. We're going to do a teaspoon of this pepper. My feelings with the salt, y'all. So I'm just gonna shake, and that might have equaled about a fourth, a little more than a fourth of a teaspoon of the salt. Okay, because mind you, during the demonstration, I added just a little bit to the salt, so I don't want to overdo it. But what I do want to do is add some more of this orange. I caught my orange with curl. Orange glaze that I'm putting in because I want to saturate, right? So, and now with my ginger. Now the ginger is pretty potent, and I'm doing the shake, shake because I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of the ginger because I want the ginger to shine through with that coconut because I think it's a good, you know, blend together the coconut with the um. And don't be afraid to use your hands. And you know why I'm using my hands? Because I wash my hands. I think I pretty much wash my hands <laughs> all day. And then that equivalates to what? A hundred times a day or so? But I wash my hands all the time. It's a little nagging fly that's in here somewhere I can see it. But anyway, um, so you see how it's looking? Now that's seasoned and orange with curl. <laughs> but I can smell it and it has that marin seasoning that I put into it. So that's going to add like a little depth of sweetness, but not too much. So it's still savory. I can smell the ginger. I can even smell the heat from the pepper. Now, depending on your spice level, you can add a little more pepper or you can add some cayenne to it. Cayenne, I always say it wrong. Cayenne pepper, you can add that to it. Now, I'm not going to add this parsley to it until I do my mixture with my panko and my bread um, so it can give that pop of color, okay? So, meanwhile, put your oil, which I use about a shallow pan, three-four cup of oil, in a pan and I got it on a low heat so it can begin to develop the heat um, we want our temp to about 350 because these shrimps gonna cook pretty fast and it don't take long to cook about two to three minutes on each side okay all right guess what y'all I forgot to add in a little sprinkle of my sugar
me, I like to level up with my flavor, so I'm gonna put in a little nine. Breading, breading station. And I'm just whisking it real good. Breading station. We're gonna put in our flour. I think I'm gonna add some more flour to my pan.
right, guys. So I did a lot of shrimp, did I? All right, but okay. Key thing I want to say at the end of like when you find something and you want to enhance that flavor that you already created, just get yourself a little pinch of salt while the fry is still hot, and just kind of do a generous little sprinkle. Not too generous, but just a little sprinkle, sprinkle across the whole thing as you just saw me do, which I only had just a little bit in my hand, just to enhance the flavor across the board that you already created. All right, y'all. There it is. Our coconut shrimp with Asian, Asian-inspired flavors, okay? Uh, it remind me of uh, the Caribbean because that's my heritage and of course I love to blend different flavor profiles to a dish. And if you're wondering about the parsley place, I did not put it into my um, egg wash and I didn't put it in my panko. panko. What I am going to do is that I am going to sprinkle it on top. I figured I'd just do it that way because I didn't want it to burn, you know, in the grease while I was cooking. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it came out good for you guys. Uh, once again, I apologize. I was filming myself. So, now it is when you try to, you know, give good content and, like I said, not too long in the kitchen. But I had to do the rest of my shrimp off camera because you see it was an abundance and I'm feeding a large family. So um, adjust your measurements, your ingredients accordingly to the amount of people that you're feeding so that you'll have enough bre uh, breadcrumbs, coconut, and egg wash, you know, the necessity that you need to create this dish. Once again, thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to all my members. Thank you to all of those who tune into my channel. I appreciate it. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Always remember to keep God first in everything that you do. Matthew 6, I cannot stress that no more. But keep God first in everything you do. And enjoy yourself. Once again, this is Coconut Shrimp with Asian-inspired flavors. And over here... You see a Thai <clears throat> sweet chili sauce that I like to pair it with. And you can make it yourself or you can just purchase it from the store. But nevertheless, be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Mm. 